Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to extract inter and intramolecular interactions using Crystal Explorer software. Here, I am opening Crystal Explorer software. Using this, now I am going to form inter and intramolecular interactions. Before getting inter and intramolecular interaction i am just opening one molecule i am just opening one crystal data molecule here i have opened a caf file caf means crystal graphic information file here this is a molecule which we are seeing here this is a sulfur molecule and these these are the uh, nitrogen molecules here i am Converting these nitrogen sulfur molecule into yellow color as is a standard color. Uh, nitrogen is a blue color. I am changing this into a blue color. A blue color. Okay. Here now I am going to give you inter and intramolecular interactions. Before forming inter and intramolecular interactions must know what is the meaning of inter and intramolecular interactions. Intermolecular means within the molecule. Intramolecular means the interaction will be between one molecule with the another molecule. That is the difference between inter and intramolecular. Here I am going to show you inter and intramolecular hydrogen bonding interactions. Hydrogen bonding interaction means the interaction between hydrogen and with the another atom. Here, let me show you the hydrogen bonding interactions. First, I am going to the display. In the display, hydrogen bonds you can see here. Just click on the hydrogen bonds. After clicking there, just click show hydrogen bonds. Show hydrogen bonds. And also here, I am including intramolecular hydrogen bonds also intramolecular hydrogen bonds. These are the intramolecular hydrogen bonds. If you consider this is a single molecule, within the molecule I can able to form the interactions here. How can we form the intermolecular interactions? These are the intramolecular. I am going to show you intermolecular interactions now. How can we get that? Just click on to this. After clicking this, you can able to see a structure like this here I am going to click this one here I have got to form this one and here I am clicking this yellow color ok here you see here one more I am connecting here you can see here Okay, again I am clicking that. You can see everything has gone. Only intermolecular interaction, intramolecular interactions. You can see here. If you want to see a, in a unit cell, I am just clicking this. In a unit cell, how can, how can, how many molecules are present which are forming the intramolecular interactions? Intramolecular interactions. I am just giving you. I am just showing unit cell axis here. In a unit cell, how many molecules are there? You can see here. You can see here how many molecules are present in the intramolecular in a unit cell. Here, if I want to increase this cell, I am again clicking these. Then we can increase this. Still, if you want to increase the molecular interactions, I am clicking these residual atoms to increase to increase the structural compounds which which are making the intramolecular interactions. Okay, you can see here how the way we got to form the intermolecular interactions of these molecules we can call this as a packing structure you can call this as also as a packing structure 
and after clicking this if you click this one you can able to form many n number of uh, molecules which will be forming inter and intramolecular interactions if, if i remove this if i want to reset this again if i click reset i can able to form this one again again i'm showing you how to do go to the display here i'm just clicking hydrogen bonds hydrogen bonds just i'm unselecting and selecting again here i can see and this even a close contact also i can able to form here close contacts if you give can able to have a more contacts this is not necessary just we can see this again i will show you the packing structure i am just increasing along a axis 1 b axis 1 c axis 1 one one each i am going to increase here you can see along the a axis how can we see the structure you can see here if i'll draw the unit cell i just want to show the unit cell this is the way we can see this is a packing structure and i'll show you along the a axis how it will show this is the packing structure along the a axis along the inter and intramolecular interactions and next along the b axis this is a way how we will inter and intramolecular interactions and along the c axis along the c axis this is the way how we can see inter and intramolecular interactions here i am going to reset again okay again let me show you the inter and intramolecular interactions in between this each one by one i am going to show you i am just showing the cell axis in a unit cell you can see here how many you can able to see here i'm just removing that again go to hydrogen bonds i'm just deselecting and selecting this again now just select this you can see some fragments over here click on to this fragment on this side this fragment we can able to get to form this again if you want to still increase this chain just click on to this and this side click on to this yeah this is the way we can increase the contacts contacts by using crystal explorer these are the inter and intramolecular interactions and uh, Uh, next thing which we are going to use in this is it's very simple way to get inter and intramolecular interaction just you just click on to this this you just click on to this we'll be getting some fragment like this here you just click on to this this complete all fragments Just click on to this. You will be getting a structure like this. Now again, click on to this. Hide, show or hide contact atoms here. If I click again, the contacts will get hided. Here you can see. Now I am going to give a unit cell here. Show unit cell axis. Now you can see as yes, unit cell axis. This is a packing. A structure which will be along A axis. You can see like this along B axis. You can see a packing structure like this along C axis. You can see a packing structure like this. To this, I am going to add inter and intramolecular hydrogen bonding interactions. I am just clicking on the hydrogen bonding interactions. I am just deselecting and selecting inter and intramolecular interactions. You can see. how the way the interactions in between the atoms you can see here let us see along a axis this is down along the a axis and this is view down along the b axis and this is down view along the c axis this is a way we can able to form inter and intramolecular interactions using crystal explorer a software If you have any doubts regarding Crystal Explorer software and its HFL surface analysis, you can comment in the comment section. Surely, I can able to uh, 
answer your answers within a one one or two days so please don't subscribe this video if you like this video thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you thanks for watching